It's in hard. It's in deep. Go! Welcome to episode two of Between the Chalk Talk with uh, James Hughes and Devin. That would be your cue. Devin Sateria. Devin Sateria. Um, <laughs> the long hey. awaited. Oh, 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 we, we might need to start open. We might need to start. <laughs> uh, I'd like to start tonight. <laughs> I'm thinking of Hall of Lame moments, okay? We should... Devin just gave away the prompt here. Um, we got two guests on the show today. We got Max Schwartz and the commission himself. Um, let's let's go through a little uh quick school update from you guys. Max, you want to go first? How's it going? Going good. Your know, rumor has it Max has joined a frat. He's joined one of the many frat boys in our league. I've joined a social and a pre-professional one, so I'm double frat. <laughs> double frat. So beat that. Beat that, Dylan. Some guys double major. Some guys double frat. But... I've heard some rumors. So and some of us do both. Some of us do both. I've heard some rumors that frat of yours uh doesn't have the best reputation. Ooh, ooh. why don't you tell us about Nas- that? no nationally we don't but at the school we got a great one. <clears throat> okay they all say <laughs> jake how's it going at uh penn state going good penn state's uh number six in the country gotta be feeling good yeah yeah i'm sure you do james are you a virginia tech fan or a georgia fan which one of my first georgia so vt play georgia and the natty are going with georgia that's great i'm rooting for the underdog that will never happen, but yeah. <laughs> You're not James, I, I mean, I know you say Georgia because of loyalty, but I feel like in the moment, you would root for BT. No, because they wouldn't win. Well, yeah. Oh, so look at the front runner we have here. Oh, man. Devin, how's uh, how's Cornell? It's great, actually. Um, hold on. I actually honor Cornell every day in my room by having, just as a constant reminder to myself, to show that I made the wrong decision. Oh, yeah, <laughs> that's good. Uh, no, no. Of course, you going well here. Um, today we got we got two segments going on. So our first segment is Hall of Fame and Hall of Lame moments from the history of watching Hills Wiffle Ball. So basically, we're each going to give two moments for Hall of Fame and two for Hall of Lame. I didn't really give much restriction to this, but it's basically what you think are the best two moments and worst two moments in the history of the league. It could be basically anything. Um, Max, you want to start with your first Hall of Fame? Well, Allie. Definitely. <laughs> All right. So this one, uh, I actually chose, I, well, I chose two, obviously. One of them, good for me. And one of them was not so good for me. I'll start with one not so good for me. Um, Ryan Akamando historically has been a liability in the field. However, however, Ryan, I believe it was Ryan Tracozzi, hit a ground ball to him or a fly ball in the World Series, and Taco made a diving play to catch it from his knees, a familiar position, more so than first base, <laughs> fires it home, and doubles them up to end the inning. Rich deals. Ricky yeah. swings. That's a, oh, what a catch from Taco! And he's gunned at home. That's a double play. What a play from Taco. That was a huge play for the World Series. That's you know, a whole you thing. You just said taco sliding catch. You didn't need to add all that. Yeah. Uh, it was a double play. Josh, that, that was, was a moment. That, that was one. They nailed him to – it was sight to see. You, you, it's one of those things. It's like one of those, like, uh, dead ball stats where, like, you had to see it to believe it. All right, I, we have a slight problem. Back to the drawing board. That was one of my <laughs> – I literally have on my, my little index card, inning of taco, because what Max failed to include – was in the bottom half of that same inning, Taco hit his first home run off Trey. Of what I think, right? Yeah, first home run off Trey. No, it wasn't off of me. One beer was first. One beer was first. All right, so. All right, all right. Okay. Uh, Jake, you want to give your first Hall of Fame? Yeah, I could go. Uh, my first Hall of Fame moment is um, Remy hitting his home run off of Trey in season four, and it was a called shot. He said, I bl- I th- can't remember if it was the second or third pitch. He told Taco, I'm going to hit a home run, second or third pitch, I can't remember, and he did it. So that's why in the call, Taco says, he called it, because he did, in fact, call it. It's an underappreciated Remy moment, and Remy's an underappreciated player. Yeah. Devin, do you take that personally? I think he gets he gets his flowers enough. 
You, we don't need to give him more. We don't need to give him. Remy's, more. Remy's could have been a Hall of Fame player if he if, a, if he's still playing. Okay, I think we need to have the Hall of Fame discussion added on to the end of this. So who and who no, should who would everyone have, have in three it? Three hours. <laughs> At least I'd be prepared. At least I'd be prepared. All right, I'm ready. I'm ready. All right, go ahead, Devin. All right. All right. Um, I think a very underappreciated moment of this past playoffs is the Vincent Rizzi three-run home run in the first inning of the Eskimos Mud Puppy series. Oh, and yeah. I understand now Jake can tell you the end of the series didn't go the way they had planned, but as someone who was on the Mud Puppies, Max, you can attest to this, when Rizzi hit that home run, we were shook. We were like, we didn't think this was in the realm of possibility. And I put it as a Hall of Fame moment because if you see the swing, the ball starts on the ground and manages to lift up over the fence. You hit a riser, you hit a riser. You, <laughs> you, you get a riser, you hit a riser. You know what I'm trying to say. <laughs> yeah, you throw yeah. a riser, you hit a riser. Yeah. And that's what I, mean, I just think the, the surprise fact, the wow factor of that whole thing, I think for me it was a lot to be a Hall of Fame. It's also the only thing I could think of. In the I agree. Time. I think that was one of the most shocked moments I've ever had as being a captain. Yeah. Like, yeah, yeah. Just, And the other one was probably – um Ricky hitting that home run and I know it doesn't count yeah. I wasn't even the captain but in season 5.5 when Ricky hit that home run off a tray to tie it at the, <laughs> in, Trenton, in Trenton's backyard I was shocked because we were down to two outs and Ricky clutched up and tied it but you know yeah that was a good moment with Vin um I think he was the most shocked at anyone <laughs> yeah, I agree um I'll go for my first one I didn't quite go game moments like you guys kind of did my first hall of fame moment is before the blobfish gooses playoff game dylan's speech the come out swinging come out running oh. come out coming out come <laughs> out sliding come out, come out, come out, you know, come out on and on and on and on you know oh, no. clip, but at the end of the day we're gonna come out here play our game come out hard come out swinging come out pitching come out allen <laughs> Come out running, come out stealing, come out safe, and you know, come out scoring. That's how we're in the game. That really got me fired up, even though he wasn't on my team. I don't know what he was saying, but it didn't really work for their team, but it worked for our team. I thought it was really funny. Max? I had to record that. Oh, uh, you did? Jake's, Jake's you did. sort of, Jake sort of stole my thunder because my second All Fame moment was uh the Ricky home run off of John oh, Columbus in the my bat. Oh. Is- he oh, took him 450 dead center. It was a huge momentum shifter. And if you want to point to a reason why we won that playoff game, because as Devin said, I mean, it was pretty dismal the first game. We got no hit uh, by some no-name pitcher. Oh, yeah. That and then pitcher. game two comes up, and we're still not getting hits. And then Rookie comes up to the plate, and we're all just sitting there on the in the dugout depressed, you know, I, just I talking to ourselves. And I know we were here. I have a question and it for goes the flying over puppies. the fence as a momentum shift. Hmm? I have a question for the two mud puppies. Um, in that series, who would you give your team series MVP? Oh my gosh, I hate that I have to say this, hmm? but that, it's Max. Max. Yup, yup. Okay. Myself and Trey. Trey Myself. Trey gave up three runs and he hit. He hit two. I threw three scoreless innings. I had one rough inning, but then Trey again, threw five scoreless. If I had, if I, if I. If I no, because I wasn't oh expected to do God. that. Trey was. If oh, I was, if yeah. I, if I had a smart base runner on third base, would I had the game winning or the game tying RBI or game winning one, whatever Devin was getting in the way for? I had two <laughs> home runs. One of the, both of them were huge. I pitched a oh, gem for the most part. Okay, all right, all right, I, Max. Let me let me do the talking because it's a little egotistical if you do it about yourself. So let me plead your case. What's the clips? The only reason no, I, case, I, don't, is stupid. I don't have the stats in front of me. I don't really remember them offhand. But the reason I give it to Max is like, like you, Jake, you're a basketball guy. Remember when Iguodala got the finals MVP over That was Curry? just stupid, though, and everyone knew Curry should have got it. Okay, but if we ignore just, that, bias. Trey was Curry, right? Trey put up good numbers, but, like, he didn't really – Iguodala got finals MVP for, like, guarding Braun, even though Braun dropped, like – 30-point triple-double. Yeah, okay, right? but Max they, went, like – Pound for pound with a, a – yeah. at the time, a very good so – You're saying that Max gets it not for his performance, but because his performance was so much different than normal? So much more yes. than – Saying That's it out loud. Not, I came in clutch much, when it mattered. The, the most the – the, most, the MVP doesn't go to the most improved player. It goes to the most valuable player. I know, but just watch – like the eye test, like whenever Trey was – If I wasn't there, who's the number two? 
already yeah. winning that game if I'm not there. Oh, you're not even pitching if Finn shows up for once. <laughs> okay, so then, I don't know what you're yapping about. Then we'd be having to. You got lucky that Finn would happen. What? We're talking about you what happened. Won, you guys happened. probably would have won by more. You probably like. <laughs> Oh, I, okay, my you answer gave up, is that, you gave up five runs in the first inning of Game Three. You almost how many lost. times? How many times did Trey strike out? Don't want to see me. Uh, how many times did Trey strike out that series? I think it was like a like, lot more than me. Okay, but he hit two homers and pitched and pitched five scoreless. I think Max also hit two, right? I did it two home runs. One of them was off yeah. of you. Yeah, but I'm saying Trey. That's why he's so mad. Five scoreless. Max pitched. Max pitched three. All right. Um, I got oh. I got one also recent. I didn't want everyone to be recent, but I just thought this was an underappreciated oh. moment. I feel bad for James. Oh. But John's leadoff homer. Oh, no, sorry. This isn't that one. It's John's leadoff homer in the semis in season three against it was Piranha's, uh, what's it called? What's the team? That he was, the Gremlins. And that, that first home run, the sound of the bat was just crazy. And I just remember that was, I knew our team lost after John let off first pitch home run off Christian. <laughs> Hall of Fame or lame? Uh, your last Hall of Fame one, right? Didn't you uh, yeah, yeah. Fame? He just wanted to be different. There's actually a ton that I thought of in uh, the last 30 seconds. But for me, the most important – and look, you guys know me. I'm a big playoff performer. But yeah, this my- regular season performance, like, I'm, I'm just going with Trey for the entirety of our series against the Blobfish. Our last series, the regular season. <laughs> Didn't he hit three home runs? He hit three home runs or something. Pitched an obviously scoreless to clinch um, a full season of being of having a zero ERA. He threw seven scoreless, right? Oh yeah, he threw seven. He seven <laughs> because what I'm getting he at. could have. It was a meaningless game for you guys. Right. He could have just stayed out of the game and just took his zero. Yeah. ERA. But bro went out there and pitched yeah. another whole yeah. inning just to win another game. It was either me. It was either Williams me Williams go out there and pitch. Season. It was either myself go out there and pitch with my left hand, or. <laughs> Trey walks out. Trey comes out in a meaningless game just to make sure that we go nine and out. He does all that. Eight and one. Eight and one. Eight and one. Eight and one. Well, yeah. Okay. Very, then, very Ted Williams of Trey. There's only oh, one. Wait. Yeah. Oh wait, I forgot. There's only won. been there's only been one one nine and zero oh team. Oh yeah. Yeah. All right. Any whom. Then uh, after obviously shutting them down and clinching a nineteenth inning of scoreless baseball, <laughs> Trey comes up in the bottom half and hits a bomb off Preston. Oh to see the deal. Like, I didn't that want to so funny. I didn't want to do it because both it was recent and it was a regular season, but I just remember at that time, because also in that series, he, um, I think him and I were tied in batting average and on the last hit by that home run, he overtook me in that too. So he clinched every statistical um, <laughs> Stat. Okay, that Devin, you were definitely rooting for on his downfall when it was <laughs> when he hit that, so you get the batting title. I didn't know it until after the fact, but I checked the stats after, and I was like, dude, if he just <laughs> got out, I could have had something, uh, one accolade to my name. That would have been crazy. All right, um, I guess I got my second one. I'm gonna go with season four, David. No, <laughs> not, not 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 just the playing version of him, David in general. The kid, his antics, his personality, like more specifically him on the turf that day, eating the pizza, and then Jake <laughs> making him film because he had to leave. Um, his quotes, the loudest homer. Kid's just a menace. He's sitting there like talking about God knows what, munching on pizza while Jake's like feeling like shit behind the camera. Some days, some days I'm on and then other days I just suck. Figuera. What's up? Are you scared because I got pizza in my mouth? <laughs> I want the lightsaber. Either. He's out to the car. I don't know how I would get home. Linfield, that's a single for Nick and Alors. Oh, David Trey falls! <laughs> <laughs> David's laugh. And he's like. Oh, and then when I made him record, he started like cursing at me after every strike at you. <laughs> yeah, the whole thing was like shake. He's like, fuck you, Jake. Yeah, pretty much. That was All right, Max, back to you, man. All of Lane. All right. Uh, I hate you hate to put your friends down. Oh. But I gotta call out uh one of my co-hosts, Preston CP. Oh, thank God it's not me. Oh, I thought it was Jake. <laughs> no, <laughs> so it's, did I. It's believe it or not, it's Preston. Um they were in a winner go home playoff game 
and he lets <laughs> Guy debut his pitching skills. <laughs> he effectively gave up. We were there all day. We had to move fields for this, and he throws Guy on the mound just to make him suffer. I mean, it was you hate to see a coach give up on his team like that, but – Impressive just did, and that's the yeah, that's, that's season. definitely an all fame moment, dude. Oh my he god, he hadn't even moved fields yet. Yeah, I came in before that. He came in second. Yeah, no, he started he king up. for some reason, and he had, he had everybody else was well, still the pitch. Yeah, instead of well, had innings, somebody. David had innings, and he chose to pitch king, start king after saying king's not touching the mound. Yeah, I, 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 asked, him so guy, I asked him like, so I, many I times. I love guy, but like that's like it's not the it's not the time to try out some new stuff. Yeah. All right. I have a good one for uh for my first Hall of Fame moment or Hall of Fame moment. Um, I got Doyle hitting my car in the se- in the season three World Series. <laughs> yeah, it was during Senior Assassins, and uh, they need Doyle and his team were at Doyle's house because we were playing at Huntsinger Park, and they were trying to leave, and I was parked in his driveway, and he backed right into my car, and we have it on film. And I think that's kind of a forgotten moment because of the heck, like the all the stuff that happened during the season three World Series when we <laughs> finished the game, and that's like an underappreciated moment in our league. Forgot. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly, dude. That's it. Let's go. I recently right. told my mom about it. <laughs> you didn't tell her when it happened. No, because there was no damage. I didn't want to rat on Doyle. <laughs> <laughs> but now that like it's, been, I don't even have that car anymore. I can tell her. <laughs> All right, mine. I'm going with an off the field one for my first one. Um, it also happened this summer in uh, in Preston's basement. Uh, so we were making teams, obviously, as we do, yeah. in our first ever auction. And me and David are in a bidding war on John King. I believe the exact situation was we were. I said ten, he matched. I said twelve, he matched. I said fifteen, but I was like kind of wary. But David matched. And I looked at David and kind of asked him, I was like, like, are you just going to keep matching me no matter what? Because he had a lot more money than I did. I only had $23,500 or a million dollars left. And I said, all right, you know what? Break the bank for King. 23 and a half. David matches. And I'm like, oh, shoot. Because now all David has to do is go 500000 more than me to $24 million and he gets king. And I'm like, obviously, he's going to do that. And then I go, all right, David, go ahead, go get king. And he goes, no, nah, I think I'm going to stay at 23.5. <laughs> and, <laughs> um, and I was like, okay. So John, of course, gets to pick. And my team was loaded at the time. So John picks my team. And I just looked at David, like, why didn't you just go up an extra? I can, uh, I can explain that one. And David goes, I didn't want to spend $24 million on king. No, I, I can explain <laughs> that one. I Personally, said you were fine with spending I done, I would have done me getting paid less I than I can Josh. explain why David did that. <laughs> Wait, okay, go ahead. Because, you know, I was sitting in the middle, and I had already got picked to David's team, so I was pretty much, like, 75% advising him on who to bid on and who not to and how much we should go up to. And uh, when he said twenty, when he said he'd go up to twenty, however million, I looked at him and I was like, what are you doing? And then <laughs> when you matched, I said, do not outbid him. Sorry, John, but the season you had wasn't that great for 20-something million. That's what happened. Oh, God. Well, I guess the whole story makes it not as bad. But at the time, I was so, – so no, it definitely night. makes sense. It's still funny. It's still funny because I had to – I pretty much was doing all the decision-making for him. Makes sense. <laughs> all right. My first Hall of Fame or Hall of Lame moment. All the times the that Preston fell – Twice over yeah. the, I love this the ball. Shut your roommate up. Uh, <laughs> diving late in the playoffs for Buckles' little pop up thing, and when he got hit with the liner in season five and a half, yeah. like, that one's my favorite. That's my favorite. Yeah, yeah, that's a great moment. Max, back to you, man. All right. Uh, this is another one. Again, you hate to call it your friends, but um, there's actually there's actually a two parter here. Uh, the first one was uh, John King throwing the bat at James. 1-0. King ties the game! 10-7 with an absolute bomb! King throws the bat at James! Oh. The, uh, the more egregious one, I think, was Ethan Parrott throwing the bat at Jake. You know, Dude, he, he didn't just throw it at me. He, like, actually tried yeah, to... No, he, wound, he wound up and just launched it to you. Even I think both had, both of you handled it with grace, but, you know, you just you hate to see it. No, 
Yeah, no, I think I threw it back to you. I don't think I handled that with grace. Just take take the take the compliment. I know. I, no, I I I'm not going to take the compliment because I I threw it right back at him. <laughs> he does. He had it coming. Yeah, I agree. Kid has zero accolades. <clears throat> oh, all right, all. he's got a World Series <laughs> ring as a sub. He was a sub. <laughs> <laughs> zero accolades. <laughs> I'm not wrong. He can't talk to me. He has two world hey, if, you, if you let if you let that five point five count, me, him, and Preston would have been on the leaderboard. Okay. <laughs> the the working man's people. Yeah, <laughs> notice how oh, those three would have been the only three that wanted this. Hit, those three and Nick were the only three that are only four that wanted those stats to count. I wonder why. <laughs> Ethan, <laughs> Ethan, Ethan, your stats, I can tell. Ethan would have been the unanimous. They still wipe yours. <laughs> they wipe the floor with yours, still, Max. You hit like below two fifty career wise, buddy. Oh boy. Coming hot in season all right, six. All right, all right. I want to. I want to take the heat off Max and get to my next hall. <laughs> Wait, it's my turn. Oh, <laughs> Max keeps taking oh. ten minutes. Um. Okay. Hall of Fame. So this is kind of like um. I remember um. James, you can probably attest to this, but uh, the Gooses were a little upset with me. I think after the first week of the season, because of how much I hyped up and posted the Eskimos. Mud yeah. Puppy series, and I didn't post so much about the Blobfish and Gooses series. We have a but single post. The Hall of Lame. No, you have two. Yes. Oh. Yep. It was a, it was before the game, and then you guys winning. You left. Oh. Or one of you left for the picture, but uh, I have the walk off walk in game three. Hall of Lame. That is why I didn't post about the series because nothing happened. Oh yeah. You yeah. guys swept them like easily. Yeah, it was a bad series. Not looking forever. back, I I should. No, it was it was not I easily. I, looking back, I think I I uh, I don't know. I just had a lot to edit at the time, but um, I looking back, I would have posted more. But you guys really just didn't do any anything. If someone hadn't kicked me off the Instagram, <laughs> oh, I wonder why I kicked you off the Instagram. I'm just the messenger. No, you're not. You played a you played a role in that, James. No, I didn't make it. You posted it. Maybe. Honestly, though, there's no reason the Blobfish don't win two out of those three games that first series. They they worked their asses off to blow I mean, there's out. a reason it's it's called, like, walking people. And a jury. I don't, know, I don't know how many people they walked in that series, but it might have been. And, and the fielding errors, too. Yeah, that know. was all me. <laughs> what do you want? Yeah, is that what you guys wanted me to post about? <laughs> Compilation. <laughs> oh, my gosh. That wasn't even my worst series. I don't know. I mean, I feel like the, the Gooses just didn't have a ton of post-worthy content. Like, the Eskimo. I'm not going to lie. He really didn't. You guys kind of won in, like, a boring way. You guys were just good. But, like, that's I mean, not- I, I posted Ethan's walk-off. I, I I posted things for you guys. But, like, you guys would always, like, win in the most boring way, which is fine. You guys won the World Series. But, you still. But like, I don't know. Like, the Mud Puppies had Trey hitting 550, leading the league in home runs, zero ERA. Devin, who's on one arm, hitting 500. Uh, you know, Hayward's like walking every fuck every at bat again, and like they were easier I to post. They were being they're more marketable. You guys are a small market team. You guys had twenty twenty Dodgers. And nobody cared. It was a Mickey Mouse ring. <laughs> we'll do it again. That's that's fine. I I, I give you guys credit. You won you'll get World two Series. posts all summer. It was just like the least exciting way to win. I I don't know. I'm not trying to hate you guys. Won the World Series. I get it. It's all right. Just a small market, hard to market team. Yeah. Um. Uh, actually i have something that didn't take place in any season it actually happened between seasons and it's just the entirety of the max propaganda that i was spewed <laughs> <laughs> and i have one specific instance that i want to point to when i was in a suit and tie and i was in or i was in a suit whatever i was max asked me the question devin what was going through your head when um i subbed myself into pitch again <laughs> Against Jake's team, uh, in the in the semifinals, and here was my full answer, unedited. Uh, we lost. Uh, that was my initial reaction. I didn't. I thought it was over. I thought that you know we should have put literally anyone else in. Um, and yeah, you know, I just didn't really. I wasn't very optimistic. But then at the end, I said, "But you proved me wrong." And that was the day playoff Max was born. You know how much of that whole thing got put into the final clip? <laughs> playoff Max. That was the day Playoff Max was born. That's that was the whole thing. No, and dude, he also that whole section, he made a whole section of the 30 for 30 about Buckle leaving the team. And he put like one second of Buckle talking and the rest was just Max. James and I were there. We were we saw the whole Buckle interview. It took half an hour. And Buckle no, did we didn't never we didn't 
He had red eye in the first video, so he had to do it again in Death in Time. You weren't at the real one. I know. I wasn't at the real one. But... He, he wasn't giving me good stuff. All right. No, I mean, I I honestly think the documentary was a great thing. And I yeah, really... It was awesome. It was awesome. awesome. And for our league's sake, like, that is something that is, like, we're going to keep forever. But... It was just <laughs> we got it. Everything was funny. We got to be more consistent. I'm working on and something. Never make the critics happy. <laughs> still working on something, James? I'm working on something. I almost right. got it ready to start asking you people some questions. Good to know. All right, well, James, I'm now that we did all the wait, no, you still have to go, right? Yeah, I got one more. I got okay, one yeah. more. It's a quick one. Um this one's attacking you a little bit. I just me think or Max or Devin? You. It's always me. This uh-huh. is I I think is one of the most underrated. I thought I was about to go a whole segment without getting nope. <laughs> Oh, I have it written right here. I just didn't tell say me, it. tell me it's changing the rules of the game day one, like the morning of opening day. Oh, Jake. Jake, Jake three walk offs. Um why is it only say David though? Oh, that's all I needed to know for the twenty three point five million. Oh, oh changing the rules on opening day. Tell um, me that's it. Anyway, mine. I think this is an underrated funny moment. The video of Jake fouling the ball into his face after he <laughs> said he was gonna hit a homer. That might be my favorite video we have. I'm in another one. Three in the inning. Yeah, three in a row. Jake Zakoff calls a shot and. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> He just looks back and goes, uh, I'm going I hit hard. like I hit like two that same inning. I was like, oh, I'm going to go hit a third. And then, yeah. Right to the face. All right. So, I got I got a little surprise. We're going to do a little game. It's, uh, it's a little game of guess who. Okay. So, yeah. All right, I'm going to redo this. So, today we're playing guess who. Sorry that took so long, but uh, fuck, hold on. I got to click. All right, so you're going to see images appear on the screen. You'll have 30 seconds to figure out what it is. It can be a name, a phrase, a quote uh, related to wiffle ball. So you're going to send me a private chat or a text with your answer, and I'll keep track of the points. Uh, once 30 seconds is up, answer will be revealed, and you'll get a point if you got it right or not. Got it. All right. I'm going to meet myself just to be safe. So you guys know the first one, so this one's kind of just like practice, but you're going to have to figure out what the pictures add up to. Ra- oh, can I say it? Because it's a trial. No, don't say it out loud. No, this one you can't oh, know what it is. Practice. Oh, I'm gonna, like figure it it's out. It's Rye in Ak Go Mondo. Yeah, Mondo Burger. Oh, I've never seen. What is the green light? Oh, go. Wait, wait show us. The, show us the picture. Show us the picture. Yay! Oh. <laughs> All right, you got you got kind of the idea. <laughs> that works. Yes. Yep. Right. You have thirty seconds. Next one's coming up right now. But uh, oh, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> sure I, was about, I did this at Daniels. school. I did this at school, so I just <laughs> pictures off of Google. You should have like, dude. You should have used his uh the JT Daniels picture. I should. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck. this one's a little harder. Look who it is. Oh. King. How's it? Nobody's last name is Henry the Henry the Seventh, so I knew it was gonna hey, be King. What is John for? Huh? What's the first one? Yeah. Tron, like the movie. I couldn't think of one for this one. It was hard. Bro, I was thinking of you know what? Never mind. All right. The King. Max is in the lead with two points. All right, next one's coming up. I knew it was Tron. Oh. Max, we got. <laughs> <laughs> what is that? Blow up and punch a Duke. What? Jake's, they blew the Jake's lead. Up. Right. It was, was it? I'll give it to Jake. He said I swung and I hit a Duke. It was choked up and hit a Duke. Yeah, the David oh, Same oh, idea. Choked. choked up and hit a Duke. That makes sense. Oh, oh shit, sorry. <laughs> I'll give it a couple seconds. <laughs> Max's answer, Trey can't stand Andy. And Jake's answer. Oh my god, I'm so dumb. Trey knows <laughs> Trey knows stand Stu. I oh. thought it was Stu for some reason. I was I don't know why. Any any last well, cause it is he is Stu in uh what's it called? Yeah, the hangover. Yeah, family game. Yeah. yeah, no, I have no idea. It's trying to. Oh, Lord. Oh, oh, my, oh my God. God. Right. 
That one's tough. That one's tough. <laughs> these are some of these are hard. Wait, what's, the, oh, yeah. name? what's the character's name? Stan. Yeah. yeah. Andy. Well, no, but Bernard. Nard. Yeah. Oh yeah. All right. Next one. I'll give you. I'll give you guys like a minute on this one. I'll just cut the video down. I thought it was for sure Trey something. What? Oh, the... God. I got it. <laughs> what? <laughs> I want to see if you got it. Oh! Oh! Wait, can I? I, I yeah. have it, but can send I? Like, send can it, I, send like, it, send it, send it. What? Devin already lost. <laughs> I know, I already lost. Is the last. Anyway. Wait, yeah. last word 40? No. Jeez, no. Uh, no, Max, I... and, Max and Jake both got it right. It was Let's go. Maxwell Menden Schwartz. Maxwell Menden Schwartz. I got that like literally last second. Shit, I don't even know what this one is. All right, <laughs> uh, it was uh, it's Nick Candelores. Devin is Devin, Devin is dumbfounded right now. <laughs> Quick score update: but, Jake and Max are tied with Russ. Them. Oh my god. <laughs> Wait, what's the first one? What's the first what? Like the first picture. Oh, I just looked up dude's name, Nick. <laughs> How am I supposed to know that? I don't know. Bro, Nick. you couldn't have like, there's, people, there's famous people that are named Nick. I did it when I was in class. So what, what is it? Can't, it's what, Nick. That's Oscar Colas. Can, Dill, Low, Russ. Oh, yeah, low Russ. I was like thinking like Ryda Wilson. I was like Ryda. <laughs> and I was like, what? Who's named Ryda son? And then I saw Low, and I was like, oh, Hey, what's the celery one? We gotta go here. Oh, okay, okay, I think I got this. One. I got it. I got Dude, it. Dude, I don't even have this. I got it. <laughs> there was there was one that gave it away. Yeah, I agree. There was one that gave it away. I know which one it is. If Jake wasn't tied with me, I would do. I would uh, give him a hint. Dude, what? Yeah, Devin got it. <laughs> it's it's the fucking rye bread that Devin and Max it. got it right. It was, was nerd. It was James Ryder. No, it, it was the rye bread. Oh, like rye, I got I got this. Dang it. <laughs> Go ahead. Jesus. Oh dear. Who is the, good there, good there, the fourth? What is the fourth picture? Who is that? I'm not telling you. I don't know. How do you not know him? You really don't need it. Yeah, you need it. Just for just for life, you need. Look to at know the who first two. Is. Look at the first two. That'll help. Yin, uh, something ball. Jesus, yin a ball. Which ball is that? <laughs> Jesus, yin a ball. Mondo. Yin a ball. <laughs> no. Hey, you should put Lorenzo. You should put Lorenzo as the last pick. I almost did. I, 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 the Fonz. I almost did. It's Christian Afonso. I was thinking him after I saw Jesus. I thought- I thought you were going to get to it when I told you to think not ball, Zo. Yeah, you sounded like you almost got to it, and then you just didn't. <laughs> All right. Oh, wait, I got it. Dang it. Oh! Devin, you got way too much ground off. Yeah, Dang. You got, I'm shooting for it. second place. You're uh, shooting no, for I, second place at this point. I'll take second place with that start I had. I'm choking. Jake's got 10 seconds. Uh, what else is new? Stop me if you've heard this before. <laughs> Jake is squandering the lead at the end. For this, bro. It was the person. He said, I'm you. choking. Then he realized, oh, wait. <laughs> that's yeah, right. that's, actually what that's the answer. answer. <laughs> All right. Hold on. This next one sucks. Oh, I don't even know who that is. Cray. Uh, what's the next one? OG. I got it. Yeah. Oh, Sharf. Ethan. Oh, we're not, we're not doing it anymore? <laughs> oh, this I'm picking good ones. All right, go ahead. I oh, thought I had it, but I there. don't know. Falling apart over there in a uh, university Four, park. Three, two, one. I don't got it. Devin with the buzzer, not a chance. It was Subham Ricky Das. Oh, oh. Max is pulling away with the lead here. He's got eight, and Jake's got five. Devin's got four. We're playing. What was 10. the last thing? Das. The das. das boot. Das boot. I didn't, oh, know. I didn't even know what that was. Me neither. On cold We're treatment. playing a 10 here, but there is a bonus round to wager, so. Oh, of course there is. <laughs> you keep it within Max's range. I only need two to win. I'm hoping you don't get one of these. Who is that? Oh, I, I got this. No way. 
Damn, he did. It was Jake Zakoff. Jay oh. Ake, Zay for Zay Jones, and then Cody Why was I thinking Cough. Bluebird? I oh, I put Henry. It's a Jay. I thought that was Henry Ruggs. I it's thought that was Henry Ruggs, too. Oh, it's a Jones. Blue Jay. <clears throat> All right. Jake is now two behind Max. Devin oh, Max, we're coming back. <laughs> oh, God. It's Rob DeSanctimonious. <laughs> Ron DeSanctimonious. What is this? I got it. No way. Oh, shit. You, you know what I meant. I want to correct it. I'll tell you exactly how I got it after. I know how you got it, but I <laughs> shocked you got it that quick. It was Guy Myrano. Oh. oh God. Max is at nine. You're going to need to make a serious comeback here. All right. I'm going to have to go play off Jake if you want oh. to like, catch up to me. Oh, you're funny, Max. What happened in the World Series? Oh, you're watching the sidelines. Yep, I did. I watched – and your dad did too. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you got it. Lock it in. Does yeah, doesn't doesn't know now, Watch Unfaithful. You got it. I was, I was I was like – I didn't know that was Brady Singer. Yeah. Max is at 10. So we're going to go to the final round here. I'll just click through the rest room quick. Ms. Doyle. Doyle. This one is uh, spits on it. Wait, can we give it like time? Like we like to talk about it right now. If we're just not. Yeah, yeah. All right, all right. There's like nine more. So. Well, rock puddle. What's the last one? Smarties, right? <laughs> that is not Smarties. Oh, Andy. No nope. crack. Ecstasy. Come. Clay. Devin. Someone said it. Ecstasy. Crack. Devin said it. How did it's I get ecstasy? that? Yeah, you guys go to the three of the biggest party schools, and I got that one right. <laughs> oh, I don't. I'm sorry, I don't do ecstasy. <laughs> like what? No, oh, <laughs> should hop on the wave, bro. It's fun. <laughs> what's the What's the first one? Well rock. <laughs> what? <laughs> it's a well. It's not rock. a well. That's the thing that like you like you stomp the grapes, right? Yeah. What's what? it doing? Fermenting the grapes. Oh. No, you beat them. You stomp. I don't it. think closer. Stop rock. Not with you, guys. Preston. What? Press, press, wait, what? Oh my. Press, press, press on all right, all right. C. How is that a C? Oh, you should have done like a bench. A bench you could have done like the actual C or an actual, like, or the C. Oh, that might have been a better idea. Never mind. <laughs> Bro, Never that. That. <coughs> where does ecstasy get involved? E. PCP. Uh, oh. Uh, <laughs> 60. Express. DJ. Race, Simpson, I don't... Giacomo. Yeah, you got it. What the fuck is the sixty? It is bro. <laughs> what you made this? It was so long ago. I don't remember. Is what. it like? I don't. Even... How'd you even get Finn? <laughs> I got the Giacomo. How'd you get the oh DJ Jockey Mo Jockey Mo oh. Finn. That's What's... in, so that's oh it's an F. F? Why is an F for 60? I don't know. But I don't know. I don't in know. makes sense. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what is this one? Paul. Oh god. That's T- either Heinz or Ward. Paul Ward? Paul Heinz? Max, what song is that? Hey Jude. <laughs> so it's I'm not gonna say that. I'm not gonna say that. Oh, Brian Hayward. Yeah. Oh, Ward. Yeah. Oh, I was like Jude Ward. What sound do you make? It's with... Brian. Yeah. Buckle. Brian. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Brian Buckle. Bug. Yeah. Oh, bug. Bug. What? Paul. Oh. Buggle. Paul. Oh. oh yeah, Buckle. yeah. Wow. I got the thin one. I got the Brian. I was like, what the heck is the ice? Brian. Right. Right. I got a couple more. Whoa. Ferb and Vanessa? What's he doing? Lift, carry. Oh. Get in play is what he's doing. Closer with that one. I don't know. Every time I see Ferb, I think of Ethan. So that like just jogs my memory. I don't know. All right. <laughs> what? Vinny. Oh, I was oh. talking about Vinny when I saw the Z, but. Oh, right. Vin, nice. oh, Vin Riz, Z. Oh. All right. We got three more than bonus. I don't know any of these people. Brett, Vaughn. 
Oh, that's the Sue Bird. Taco rolling his ankle. The last three should help. <laughs> last three should help. Rihanna? Hib, Hib, Devin Sateria? Yeah. What? Oh, ta- that's not even... Is that a tear? What's the first part? Saturday's a day. King oh. Vaughn, I think. Yeah, I got it from looking at King Vaughn, bro. Oh, the tear. Real. Mac, you should have got that. Aren't you a big King Vaughn fan? <laughs> No, nah, I'll push Shiesty for sport. <laughs> oh, sorry, yeah. I know this. All right, all right. Stepping. Oh wow, who I the hell, hell is that? Guys. The second guy's Jake Cole. Is that that's not the weekend? <laughs> <laughs> the Why is there a donkey? Oh, it's an ass. Oh, it's an ass. It's, it's an ass. Hair. It is. Um. Wait, is that the Preston quote? No, it's not. It's not a quote. It's a person. These last two are people. Steven Sharp. Nope. <laughs> is it? No. Mike Cole. Who? Who? Michael Mike. Michael Mariasi. Oh, we're on wiffle ball. <laughs> but like, I mean, so bro. Oh, wait a minute. John Cole Lone. Colonius. Something oh. as. Yeah. Oh. All right. We got one more. Okay. Okay. It, it, alphabet. Sick oh, Jeremy Lin under Mac contract. Schwartz flu game. <laughs> Shut <laughs> up, Ray Kelly Grifornia B6 Dylan Rebecca. Holy shit! That's oh, what... Gray car. Yeah, yeah. How'd you get that? I got a Gray car. That was in Lynn. That was impressive. All right. D- oh. Ill. Oh, ill. Oh, okay. We're going on the bonus round. There's one more puzzle to be solved. You'll have one minute. Oh, I'll make it miss. Right, whoever gets this wins. Yeah, essentially. Yeah. Wager up to the amount of points you currently have, but if you get it wrong, you lose those amount of points. You must answer the puzzle, and if you don't, your wager will automatically be deducted. All right, what is ever? What is Jake? Jake's got, Jake's got seven. You have ten. Devin has five. So everyone, <laughs> what do Max is gonna bet? Okay, I'm all in. <laughs> Devin is all in. Max, Max, if you're smart, you should do five. No, I'm wagering four. I want to tie. No. Well, then you both. I want to push. I want to push a playoff round if, if need be, bro. Actually, no. It doesn't matter. I'll go five. <laughs> you on five? All right. Max going for the win. All right, like David Jacob's, going to twenty-three. You got, you and got a minute thirty to do this one. Ready? This is gonna be a one, this one's long. Wait, what's the category? We're not gonna know. Nope. This is a very specific thing. So, what do you mean by that? It's specific, like. Guys... Oh shit! Oh, I know oh, it. Oh, I don't know what the oh. quote is though. Oh wait, wait! I got, it, I got, it, I got, it, I got, it, I got it. I got part of it. Well, close is only good I, in, I, I, I'm in horse shoes. I'm, I'm typing it right now. I see it. I saw. Congrats! You got second place. You guys, all got it right. <laughs> hey, hey! But I got it. <laughs> Who's in charge here? Do you have a permit? We all know what happened after that. But Max f- finishes the winner with 15. Jake comes in second with 14, and Devin's got 10. Wow, Devin, nice performance, buddy. <laughs> so, wait, what's my winning? Oh, uh, the two and a half players again? pod comes on this show and dominates. So what Max, do you know? Max gets to come on another pod and pick the top topic of the podcast. That might be a bad idea, but 